All right, happy Friday. We're on the color red couch with the polyrhythmics. Uh, we got Ben Bloom on Zoom. So, uh, all right, well, tell me about the album. So for, the first thing I want to know is uh, why is it called Man From The Future? Well, that's a good question. As um, you know, as someone like you know yourself, you've, you've written a lot of instrumental music and you know that there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people that are always like, hey, what is this, you know, where, what does this song mean or, or whatever? And with, with our, you know, from the very beginning with Polyrhythmics, we were always really cautious to try to tell a, a story before people listen to the music. We wanted them to pe- basically figure out, you know, make it the, the soundtrack to whatever it is that you're going through or whatever you're doing. But you have to name something as you write it. Otherwise it just becomes groove number one or groove number two or funky groove in E minor number three or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, what's this one about? <laughs> exactly. So we typically try to name things as we write them. So as, as soon as they're done, we try to like put a name on it, and sometimes that name changes. Uh, Man from the Future is one that changed over time, but the drum beat um, to Man from the Future was a sort of tribute to um, a Tower of Power um, drum drum beat and the song, you know, Man uh, Man from the Past. So the that drum beat came out of the last album session that we did and we kind of you know grant was kind of messing around with it trying to squeeze it into different jams that we would play here and there it didn't really find its home until um grant and art kind of took it on to sort of write a song based around that drum beat and so it, so it kind of came to light out of that drum beat which was uh a tower of power kind of rip off uh, or modernization yeah well that don't, that makes total sense yeah because yeah the same you know like you said instrumental music is always hard so I, what I tend to do when, when writing a groove or something like that, I'll just kind of literally look around and go, okay, what's, you know, what's going on right now? And just kind of name it something so I remember. Um, you know, quite often you write stuff in sound checks and then you just, you know, we had a tune on the last album, on Ren- Renewable Energy called Chicago Girl, because it was literally the Chicago sound check and then Ashley's family showed up and yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, cool. So, you know, it's like, what does that track mean? He's like, well, it means that I wrote it in Chicago, uh, you know, <laughs> and Ashley's family was there and it's, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, does it, d- sometimes it's, a, it, it, it is an emotional thing, you know, sometimes it's whatever emotion one is feeling at the time. I think that's a kind of, sometimes that i've used that in the past you know i've got a few angry songs that's for sure <laughs> I, a lot of times what i'll do is when i when i if i write something that, that i like because we have this rule in our band where we need to name things right away um i've kind of i kind of have my own little way of getting getting around that by naming something like the dirtiest possible name that you know will never be allowed to be released under that name so that i know that i'm just basically buying my time to later on you know change the title of it uh, right, right. So, so it doesn't slip onto the album by mistake. I'm like, oh no, I didn't mean it to be called that. So exactly. So like, we'll get to the we'll get to the the credits and be like, okay, Ben, we can't call it Angry Porker or whatever it is that you want to call it. You know, like we have to call it something that makes a little. Yeah, my kids are gonna see this. You know. Yeah, I I know that one. That's fine. That's, That's cool. Well, I like the name. I mean, I, I don't know. There's something something seems to resonate with this whole crazy time that we're in. Uh, you know, with it being that weird, futuristic, apocalyptic kind of sentiment going on. So you didn't even know this was happening when you wrote it, unless you caused it, you know, but. Well, you know, we're not gonna get into that, but I do, I will tell you that, you know, we've always kind of thought of our, our band is, started our band, it was like the first things that we, that we wrote and that we recorded were, you know, sort of, um, directly tributes to Afrobeat music or tributes to you know funk and soul music things that are that are very easy to place at a, at a point in, in in the past and you know when we started moving away from just the recording concept and getting into playing live shows we really started to write music that was that wasn't really um, idiomatic necessarily to strictly Afrobeat or strictly funk music and so we were kind of maybe like trying to push the genre forward a little bit more um, and even though we have a lot of influences from the past and a lot of things that we've done in the past we, we're, with each record we've been trying to write music that is sounds new sounds like something different something that is not necessarily this is a tribute band to Fela Kuti or, or those type of things you know really kind of 
creating a, a sound that defines us. So always thinking about the future and calling our music sort of future funk or future, you know, future forward music has been a concept in our band from the very beginning. So when we finally got to call something man from the future, it sort of resonated, I think, with all of us. We were like, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, no, we'll kill it, man. All right, well, stay safe out there. And uh, thanks for joining me on the Color Red Couch. All right, brother, talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Yeah, man. So that was Polyrhythmics on the Color Red Couch. New album coming out May 8th. Uh, go and get your pre-order for some vinyl. You can get that on the Color Red website. Next Monday, 4.20, we're helping host a festival. So uh, tune in for that. 4.20 for a cause, raising money for a bunch of charities, including the payback. Once again, thanks for joining me on the Color Red Couch. Bye for now.